I'm Dragos and in this video we're going to take a look to Memos. Memos is a note taking app that can be self-hosted easily on your Docker container and uh, this is a basic note application that can help you take notes for your organization or for your project. It has a simple interface and it can uh, take notes in markdown format and uh, in the past I have also created some tutorials with uh, outline for instance and with docmost and uh, this uh, Memos application, it's more lightweight and more simple than the other one. So you can check the other one if you want something more complex. And uh, yeah, let's go and see the details. So this is their website, usememos.com. And in here you have the releases. This is actively developed. And uh, yeah, you will have all the details about, uh, about this. And uh, if we're going to check my installation in here, you see that I have set this up on a uh, subdomain. And in here, you see that you have the various notes that you can uh, take. I played around with uh, with them. So in here, you have the options to take the notes. So we can create something in my markdown, like the title one. And then you can add other things like uh, item one, item two. You can add to-do list and so on if you if you want. And then you can also tag this, so you can put this into list, for instance. And then you can also add code blocks, you can add checkboxes. You can also include images, for instance, in here. So let's go and insert an image in here, like this. And then you can add links to other nodes if you want. Let's go and add this. I will notice as embed and right now you have the options to publish this. This can be private, it can be published through an workspace or public. I'll make this public just to see how it's showing. So right now you see that uh, for instance in here you have the note that has been added, you have the items with the title, you have the image and you have the references in here if you want to, to add them and in the right side uh, you have for instance, uh, some uh, some search options with the calendar and you have the links, the to-dos, for instance, the one that contains the to-dos, okay, code. And uh, in here you have the tags, so you can search by tags and other things. Okay, let me clean all of these things up. So yeah, the interface is quite, uh, quite easy to use and uh, yeah, it has some of the details thing. So you can, for instance, also add the comments to this. So you can go in here and you can add a comment. Something, you can save it and then you will have the comments added in here. So then if you go to home, you'll see that you will have one comment in here. Then you have the options to add some emoticons in, in here with likes and other things. Right now you see that this is public and if we're going to check this into an incognito mode, you'll see that everyone will be able to, to see this. They'll be able to see the details. And then if you click on it, you see all of these things. Okay. And then you have the settings and in here you have the account with tokens, you have the preferences so you can change the language, you, ch you can change the light and dark mode, you can choose the default memo visibility if it's private, workspace or public. You have the web options to create, you can add members if you want. In the system area you can change the server name and add additional CSS and JavaScript. And in here we have some options that can be disabled, like disable public memos, display with updated time and so on. And in here we have the storage options. Right now this is to a database that everything it's, it's safe, but you have other options, for instance, to save the details to an object storage. You have the options to add the SSO in here, so you can add the authentication method in here with uh, out to, and this is the templates that can be used. So yeah, this is the interface. It's 
quite simple and it's quite easy to, to use. Again, if you are interested in more complex note thinking apps, you can go and check the other ones with Outline and uh, Dogmost. And in here, I've created an article with all of the things that we are going to, to do, including some of the features that it has. And the first thing that you will need is to have a place where you can deploy this. You can have a VPS server, you can have a local server, your home lab server, if you have something like that. I've already created some tutorials in the past of how you can deploy, for instance, as an VPS server and how to configure, for instance, traffic and uh, Docj, because we're going to use Docj to create the Docker Compose file. Docj is just an application that will help you manage easier the Docker Compose. And when you want to install Memos, you will have two options. The first option it will be with SQL Lite. Basically, this will be only one container that will be created. And in here you have the details. And uh, for this, you see that uh, it's pulling the, the image and it will start. If it's not stopped, it will be added to the traffic network. Again, if you're not using traffic, you can use this with uh, other reverse proxies. You can even use this with uh, Cloudflare tunnels if you're in your local network. And in here, you have the volumes where the images and other things will be stored. And uh, the labels in here, what I will do, I will tell traffic to use my domain, to use HTTPS and to use the port for this, which is 5230. I will also explain everything in here. We're not going to deploy this because it's quite simple. What we are going to deploy is the one with Postgres SQL. So this uh, Memos application can be deployed with uh, SQL Lite, Postgres, or uh, MySQL. So in here I have the Docker Compose file that you can uh, check and the things are similar. For instance, you see in here that I have the same image that it will be pulled. You have the same volumes in here and the, the differences in environments. You will have the Memos driver, it will be Postgres and you have here the Memos DSN and this is the path to your Postgres details, basically to your database and the same labels it will be there. And then I have the Memos DB to use Postgres and then it will be in the same network and I have some health checks in here. I have the memos DB volume that is set and here I have some users that uh, are uh, stored with passwords in environment variables. So I will copy this and we're going to go and deploy this so you can see how easy it is. And in here, let me clean this first. I will go and create a compose file and in here I will choose memos like this and I will add my compose file. So if I've added the compose file, you don't need to change anything besides the domain if you have traffic installed. And in here I will choose my dot bidose because in here I have the wildcard certificate. And then I will need to add the environment variables. And to do that, I will just go into the article and copy the details. And in here you have the Postgres database user password. You can change them. This is just to, to show you how it's done. And let's go and put them in here. Okay, I will save this. And right now we can go and start this. It will go and pull the images. So right now the images are already pulled because I've already had this installed. But it will move next and it will start the database and it will check to see if it's healthy and then Memos it will start and you see in here that you have the prompts with uh, Memos. And right now if you are going to check the URL, we should be able to have a blank installation where we can create our first user. So in here you have the settings options to change the language. For instance, you have some language options in here that can be changed. We have the dark mode that you can set, so you can do it like this. And in here you can create an account with a password. I will hit create. So right now um, everything is created and you can start adding your notes in here. You can see that you have the details, so you can start uh, start with, uh, with your notes and uh, add users if you have other users, change the settings and uh, so on. So yeah. This is how you can install Memos. It's quite easy to, to install. 
And in case you need more complex node application, you can check outline and you can check dog most. And I will let the link to the description at the end so you can check them. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.